are at Enor Creek on one side when the city was devastated by rains of Cyclone Mishong. This is another devastation that got very less attention. That you see over there, it's actually crude oil and this is at Enor, the open, the mouth that connects to the Bay of Bengal and this is the damage over here. That is the kind of oil that has seeped across this place and earlier it was mentioned that the damage was less but no, it is not true. In fact, the people who are taking care of it are fishermen. Imagine, those, that is a crude oil and these are the fishermen and this is a condition of the, the fish and everything over here all dead because of an oil sleek, a man-made disaster. In fact, this was not called as a disaster first. It was said that an oil leak and it will be taken care of. Almost five days have gone and this is the present situation. And these are fishermen. They are not special employees or workers. They are just wearing gloves and they are using this mask which is full covered of oil and just using a drum over here and a filter. They claim that they have been employed by officials, fisheries department, police and CPCL to clear this mess that was caused by someone else and they are taking care of it and here day and night they are working because this is their fishery, fishing ground and this is a kind of like fish they used to take earlier but right now their life source is dead and they are working hard to save it and this is the condition at this spot over there you could see that oil sleek definitely something not acceptable national green tribunal is asking several questions to Tamil Nadu pollution control board and cpcl they are giving answers but on the ground it is entirely different this entire mouth that connects to the sea is nearly 250 meters and it's co completely covered with oil in the drum of filpani are could bring so once this drum is filled, they will give it back to the CPCL. They are fishermen, CPCL men are not employed over here, but fishermen are the ones who are taking care of this damage. You can see, uh, it's purely the mistake of the CPCL. So if at all, the ultimate care should be taken. Fishermen know. We came to know that actually 10 kilometers this estuary is a fully full of oil. You are also having actually yes, in the hand of oil. So, uh, so you you might be seen in the, your naked eye. No. So what actually no? The three three demands they are actually demanding. One, uh, the livelihood been affected. So boat, what are the boats that get damaged? The boats uh, actually give, those are boat get damaged that should be eliminated and given uh, 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 relief. Then nets nets are actually. 5 lakhs, 7 lakhs, all are actually with the oil only. You might be seen that, no, all are actually mixed with oil. No? They were never, again, never used. No? So, for 4 or 5 lakhs are uh, ultimate total loss. Then, uh, livelihood from 30th onwards, uh, they never ventured into the sea because of the government uh, announcement. So, from 13th onwards, the government and uh, CPCL calculated and given to the given to the cash amount. Uh, the employment also, these uh, six villages are demanding. Uh, from 30th onwards, they calculate the amount and they, uh, they disperse the amount uh, through these facilities. Already we have got these facilities. So, uh, same, uh, similar, no, in our government, when one ship actually they uh, drop the oil into the sea, no, we actually put the, uh, they filed a case against the, the company and uh, we get, uh, we got uh, 100 crores uh, earlier. Now, actually, 100 crores uh, permanent. Uh, interim relief on the undercoast they are given that time. So, CPCL generously, knowing the sufferings of the uh, fishermen, so should actually uh, hand in uh, fish, uh, give hand to the fishermen. CPCL claims that they have used boomers, slugs, vacuum machines but we don't find any kind of special equipments nor their people here. Only fishermen are cleaning the spot. How should CPCL act to it and what should the governments do on this matter? See, you yourself not cleaning the oil, no? So you clearly you spelt out what I am actually supposed to say. You clear say, say nothing actually special as CPCL as doing any job. So nowadays modern technology has been developed. So with the IAT consultant, so uh, government should actually initiate. So government simply saying, you know, we, uh, we are not at all having any business in that one CPCL. They should not actually answer like that. They are also having the responsibility. If at all, uh, precautionary measures uh, to control the flood means this at all could never happen. So uh, they are also liable for this. So government, CPCL, both actually answerable to the fishermen. They come forward to help the fishermen. Earlier, TNPCB said that there was a minor oil slip over here and like this. Now, TNPCB and CPCL are fighting at NGT. You went around this place. How bad is the situation? See, see we actually, in our naked eye, know, 
we actually uh, seen a lot of oil actually traveling uh, through estuaries no it's a uh, clearly uh, evidence no actually a lot of uh, oil traveling to the uh, towards to the sea crude oil actually uh, into the estuaries no that should be cleared how so, bad is the situation see, see, actually how many, how many tons that we don't know. That only we, we, with the harness only CB cells to disclose that. We don't see a boomer. We don't see any kind of vacuum pump or any kind of special equipment to remove this oil slick except fishermen from the ground dangerously just wearing masks and have gloves and they're using it. Believe us when we say that at a period of time this actually evaporates and is bringing out a lot of uh, a kind of like irritation to the nose and eyes as well. And still these men are working here hour after hour to clear this spot because this is their homeland and they're also putting forward questions as to why nobody else is bothered about the environment at this spot. Ms. Daniel from Odmadam for India Today.